Excuse me. Hmm? guys.
This again. Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaito-san the price. 200 grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway.
Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. <laughs> huh? God, next time just knock, would you? Those are the files on investigation. What have you been snow yakuza is gonna report a robbery on their office? I mean, they'd have got the Matsugane incident was never... You have cash? A hundred grand. Nice. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Some... <laughs> Now then, this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. But there was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> This guy was a pro, and if he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe. I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy, or died trying. 
Thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi, he saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito is the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Bad move, dumbass. Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. Apparently, the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay, then. You got me. The money's yours. I'll just... Go get it. He guess he couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Oniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name, don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. Higashi didn't... kill him, did he? Beats me. Hmm. <laughs> well, how was it? Worth the hundred Gs? The 
year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Sorry, mind if I ask you a question? Do you know a homeless guy named Red Nose? Here he lives around here. No. Nope, oh, okay. Sorry to bother. Stay down. Hello. Do you have a second? I'm looking for a man named Red Nose. Red Nose? That homeless guy? Yeah, I know him. Ain't seen him in at least a year, though. Any idea where he went? Nope. Uh, maybe a drink will jog your memory? No, I, I really don't know. Go bug someone else. You have a minute, sir? What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Call that a Red Nose? I sure as hell don't. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Guess that's what his friends call him, though. Never seen him. Now fuck off, yeah? Damn, guy.
Really, guys? Sorry, can Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. That's all right. If you say so, I've got this. Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot Committee just opened. Which is? What? It's uh, some kind of fancy. It's over on. Huh. I hear they got some, but my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having... So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it, no problem. Sounds interesting. Thanks a million. Here we go. Let's do this. Whoa!
roll. Roll them. Here goes nothing. I suck at this. Why am I bad shit, stupid thing? Almost there. Why am I bad? Nice. Almost there. Nice. I suck at this. Stupid thing. Almost there. I suck at this. Why am I bad? Nice. Shit. Why am I bad? Nice. Shit. Stupid thing. Nice. Why am I stupid? Shit. Which one? Come on. This one. Come on. Damn, couldn't do it. Hey, pal, how did- Sorry. You couldn't do it, huh? Anyways, I asked around about your red nose. Still don't know where he is. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh. You're the one looking for that homeless- You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the- ch All the hung- Thanks for the tip. Uh, don't- Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah?
And stay down. <laughs> hmm? Hey, sorry about that. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted... Why would someone... So, you're a friend of his? No. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating. Body was all shot up. Shot? No. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way... His body's long gone, but we still want to find out what happened to him. Right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? We thought if any- Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. <laughs> That's Kamaru Chofu. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep. Yeah, that's him. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then.
can't stay down. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now go! Fuck you! God damn, that felt good. Come on! Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito-san. Fuck yeah! Ah! <laughs> 
didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money? It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamura. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled, I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. And Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy.